<laughs> Hello, my beautiful Dragon Army. How's everyone doing today? And uh, this is a little bit different of a camera angle. Um, you're usually seeing me from this side, but we got kind of the entire room back. Anyway, I think this is how I'm going to do this setup for most unboxing videos um, in the future for Skylanders. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, just testing this out, but you're like, wait, wait, wait. Unboxing videos. You have all the superchargers, except for Thrillipede, which. Don't even get me started. You have all the superchargers, and Imaginators comes out worldwide the 14th, but in the U.S. next Sunday. You're a week early, Bobby. I'm not a week early. Walmart is a week early, so um, Walmart has Wave 1 and 2, basically. My Walmart has Wave 1 and Wave 2 figures. Um, and villains, they had like Hood Sickle, Mr. Cat, and a single pack, Aurora, uh, Crankcase, all those, and Creation Crystals, as well as, uh, Blind Bag Mystery Chests. They also had this guy, right here, Starcast. So I picked him up, bought him, he's mine, I own him. They let me walk out of the store with a product that does not get univer the universally is not supposed to be sold until next week. I'm legit, like, I s I'm going back and I'm buying as much as I can there. Uh, they didn't have the game or else I would have bought the game. Um, I mean, I do have it pre-ordered at GameStop, or not GameStop, at, uh, at Toys R Us, so I'd miss out on the chaos, but uh, yeah, they didn't have any starter packs there. So I couldn't get that, or else I would, <laughs> and I'd be playing it um, non-stop. But uh, I did get Starcast, I have nothing to play him on, but I did get him. So I'm going to try and unbox him carefully, because I want to keep the box. And the good thing about these new boxes is it's got this tab in the back now that you can just, it's legit a box instead of like those, here, let's see. Instead of like, <clears throat> instead of like the, these, um, instead of like these, these boxes here, they're like, you gotta pull like pretty much every other toy box that there is. Um, this year it's, it's a box and I love it. It works hand in hand with collectors like me who like to keep the box and unbox them if that makes sense so there's a little bit of tape on either side but it's nothing that a good pair of scissors can't help so we'll just uh, carefully here I did try and take this tape off before I kind of did tear the box a little bit so I might get another star cast uh, eventually, like, when it comes out everywhere else, um, depending, depending, who knows, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So, the top, so, I want to try and show you guys, because I'm really, like, the only person that has done a full unboxing of an Imaginator, or a Sensei. So the box, the, uh, the tab opens, cut off both pieces of tape. This flap opens up, and this is the this is the tag. This is the uh, the thing that holds it on the shelf. And then you've got a second layer here that you can just take off. And then there's a third layer, and this is the final layer, and that opens up like so. So it's uh it's got like four flaps, and now it's the uh, it's the plastic, and you can. Pull out the plastic. Um, that's kind of the box, really. Um, you can also open it up from the bottom pretty, pretty easily. It's just got like this little tab piece here that you can just pop up, pop open. But from the looks of it, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like you can play it inside the box. And obviously, I would test it out if I had the game. Um, and if I do get the game early, I will definitely test it out for you guys. Um, but I think it should. Um, now, taped under here is just, uh, no card, no stickers, just absolutely nothing. It's not taped, it's 
just under like a little tab here. Um, yeah, there isn't, I can tell you for a fact, there's no sticker, sticker sheet to put on your poster. Uh, no card, no battle cast card, nothing. Just a heck of a lot of instructions that I can just throw away. Um, but this is a figure, so, uh, the first thing that I saw, so, alright, okay, so, this is, this is how it looks, alright, you got the thing on the top, and I know I'm going too in-depth, but I just want to show you guys, so there's like two little tabs on the top, that you can pop open, pop back, like so, uh, and there's also two on the bottom, that you can pop off. Um, but Starcast, his hands are kind of in the way of the plastic here. Okay. So we got that. So that's the thing that holds the base. And it kind of, like, goes over. It, like, is a flap almost over the base that's kind of, like, holding it in place. It's not too hard. And it didn't really struggle at all. And this is, I just don't want to ruin the plastic, or else it would be a lot easier. And uh, Starcast is an exception because there are these little plastic things over his arms. And but here he is. There we go. I just reshape the plastic, uh, fold it back up, and uh, and you can use this again. I did. <laughs> did really like no damage whatsoever to it so this is uh this is starcast so um <clears throat> yeah man this is this is pretty, this is pretty cool i'm just kind of like this is my first time holding one of these figures so i'm just kind of like examining it the base feels weird it it feels like it feels like a it's a different type of plastic not flimsy just uh just odd and the base here is like the the base we had on the vehicles and stuff it's just plastic um so they are getting to that like Almost like no portal needed. There we go. We can see it against the light a little bit there. It's really have has like no register <laughs> at all. And um, so yes, yeah, so the base is pretty wide. I'd say about an inch, two inches, I guess. Um, and this figure alone, he's pretty big. I want to try and go get. Let's see here. I'm going to pull out a few uh, figures to do, like, side-by-side -side comparisons with. Alrighty, so I've got a few figures here um, that I'm going to do comparisons with. I got a few regular ones, and I got some superchargers. I just have a mini just to kind of show you. So here's Small Fry compared to compared to Starcast. Um, so there's that. Here is uh, Riptide. I just figured he's kind of like a normal sized figure. Comes up. Um, he's about the same size. But the uh, I think the shurikens up here are kind of like ninja stars are what make him extremely huge. Um, and the base is very, very thick. The base is a lot thicker. And we have Splat. Um, Again, taller than Splat as well. Now, the base on Splat, however, is uh, tilted up. It's a little bit larger, um, it looks like. So, there's, uh, so that's Splat compared to uh, Starcast. Next up, we have Enigma. And um, taller, obviously. But the only thing that makes him taller is his staff. So, I might have to go get someone else. And then, of course, we... Uh, we just have Ninjini here, just kind of show you. Ninjinji, nin, Ninjinji, Ninjini still is a lot taller, but um, one figure that looked maybe a little bit bigger than Starcast uh, in the box was Ambush. So, um, 
But yeah, that is kind of the size comparison. Let me see if I can get a Trapmaster a little bit normal size than Enigma. Okay, here is, uh, here's Kaboom. So, pretty much the same size. I know, sorry about that, guys. I, uh, keep forgetting to erase memory or, uh, free up some storage and stuff. So, uh, as I was saying, um, it's kind of hard to visualize, like, on camera, and I realize that. Um, but they're <laughs> pretty much same size. Uh, here. So, he's, he's not that big. The only, the only thing is, is, um, the width of the base, especially, is extremely large. Like, here is Riptide's base compared to Starcast base. And it is just massive. The base is, as I said, like about two to three inches long, maybe. It's, it's, it's insane, insanely huge. So, um, yeah, now, uh, now I guess I'll just real quickly do a, uh, a little quick spin around, I guess. So, he's, uh, very, very detailed. Now, one thing I do want to say is, like, figures on the, on, on screen. Like, the the HD images, everything like that, they always seem so much more detailed, so much better on the camera than in person in the flesh. Like the plastic sometimes, you know, morphs and looks a little bit different or something like that. Um, and he's, he's not perfect. He does have like a little smudge, but... I can rub that off, but, like, this figure really is the exact same quality as the HD pictures, and same with pretty much every single one there, except for maybe Aurora um, and, and Barbella, but, like, Barbella was see-through, she was transparent, and Starkist is transparent, not as transparent as his clear version, which sadly wasn't there, but, um, not as transparent as maybe we assumed, but he's still, like, the glitter, he's got, like, glitter sparkles on him, um, his, his pants especially, and I know you can't see this, but, like, his pants, they, uh, they're, like, stitched and rolled up, and they, uh, it really, really is detailed. The Sensei belt really is detailed. Like, it looks exactly like I thought it would. It looks better than I thought it would, honestly. So, yeah, that, that is Star Kiss. Now, am I gonna go back out today? and get more figures. No, I am not. And then the only reason I only picked up one is because I honestly did not think that it was going to work, so why have multiple fails? <laughs> um, but now that I know it works, maybe, now not today, not, maybe tomorrow, but sometime this week, I just want to go back, I want to get a mystery chest, um, another mystery chest, um, Creation crystals, maybe ambush. I, I like. I don't want to take away from from the official release date, but I mean, it's just it's kind of it's it's very very surreal. So that is uh, that's Starcast. I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Thank you so so much for watching. Hopefully you've all enjoyed. If you have, be sure to smash that like button. If you are new, uh, subscribe so that you can get these like, quality content, you know, exclusive, this is, this is a Shadow Dragon exclusive right here, you are only getting this on the Shadow Dragon channel, no other channel has this, I promise you, no other channel has this type of video a week before 
release. So this is a Shadow Dragon exclusive. So if you if you like that and you want to see more, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more exclusive first look news. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.